beginning, but if you can squeeze in 10, 15, 20, 45 minutes, um, and it really worked great. I just had to tweak it where it wasn't that I could really leave the home to be able to go do those workouts. Yeah. I had to bring everything home to me where I could have Bear right there with me. And, of course, he was my top priority. So well, he was a be. wonderful little guy and made it very conducive for me. You know, some sports, that you win prize money. If you win something, do you get any prize money from doing this? Or you just keep getting your head smashed? Oh, no. No, yes, we do get prize money. <laughs> yes, do. we do. Yeah, okay. Yes. Well, you're the world champion. I think you're going to show Christy some workout moves here to keep her in shape. Christy is pretty, you know, she, I think we need to work on getting her a husband. She, 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 uh, so if you, if you got some tips you could give her on the way, I think that'd be very nice. You want me to find a lumberjack for Christy? Is well, that I don't it? know if she can stand a lumberjack or not, but do what she can. Jenny, okay, it's great, great to have you with us. Great to have you. Thanks, Pat, for having me. And here is a Steel Timber Sports Series hat oh, for wonderful. you. wonderful. All right. That's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And my wife will know that I will not be rolling logs. Don't even think about it, baby. All right. Well, Pat, I, I got to tell you, I'm thrown about the husband thing, but at the same time, it's true. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, first of all, I know that you, you, you had a baby, you had Bear, mm -hmm. cutest little pumpkin pie, and so you had yes. eight weeks just to get your body in training shape. And I can tell, first of all, you're stunning now, but in all the pictures, Thank you can you. tell you've really been in shape. So what did it take for you to get back to that? Um, training figure. You know, what it, what it took was I had eight weeks after I had my baby, I needed to be competing on logs again in yeah. Utah for the first Steel Series event of the year. Gotcha. And, but I also knew that I was not going to do anything that my doctor didn't recommend. So mm -hmm. for the, for, I had a six week post-op checkup. Gotcha. So from having him six days after the hospital, I was back on my bike just like this. Um, now tell me about the significance yeah, of this bike. Yeah, our bikes look different. Very much so, and your bike's loud. It <laughs> is, Jenny. It's loud, but let me tell you about the wind from this bike. It, it's kind of nice. It did make my little guy take great naps when he'd bike. I worked out a lot at a health club, and, and I did a ton of mountain biking and road biking and whatnot before I had my baby. Yeah. Once I had Bear, I didn't have the luxury of just having all this free time to go out by myself and do it. Yeah. So I have one of these bike trainer here. A bike trainer that just fits okay. on a road bike, mountain bike, any kind of bike. It's uh -huh. adaptable, which was great. So I used that. Had Bear would take a nap. He'd be sleeping in his little bassinet uh -huh. right by my bike, and we'd go for it. And then cool. I also yeah. had to be really efficient. Um, so I started doing, you know, arms while I was biking. Okay, and that's a great thing because this allows you to multitask. So you can have a bike, and if you don't have a stationary bike, you can get your own bike with that device on the back, and then you can do different weights. And because that helps you. Did this one? Multitask, yeah. And, and the one thing I noticed is how much I missed being outside. Yeah. Um, because I always have biked a ton in the past outside. So I brought my bike and my trainer right out on the deck. I was biking and had the most beautiful view of all right I down the lake. That. My I baby bear in the lake. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that video over and over again of you going back and forth in the logs, and I thought, you have got to have the strongest core, and balance has got to be the key. Absolutely. Yeah, so is yep. this one of the exercises that you did to it kind is. Of keep your core tight? Yes, your core, as you can see in boom running, you need to be so stable here in the center. You need Your body needs to be directly up above those logs. Mm -hmm. Everything's happening below, so your core is absolutely critical. So most everything I do is somehow also related to core and balance. Even when I'm doing endurance work, strength work, everything, it's all gotcha. core related too. So you use the booster ball. Yep, I use a bosu ball just like this. And a lot of times you can just go like this. I'll keep my arms right up here, primarily because this is where they are in boom running. Okay. But some people keep them on their hips. So I'll just do squats like this. All right. And the one great thing about the booster ball, again, is that you do have to balance. So it really allows you to tighten up your core as well as your back, right? It does. Okay. Absolutely. And you're building leg muscles at the same time. Now, what? So, now, when you, you're running those logs and do, am I saying that correctly? Running those logs? Yep. Running okay. those logs. We're boom running on those logs. <laughs> when you're boom running and doing things of that sort, I mean, is it a lot of leg work? Or? It is. It's an absolute yeah. ton of leg work. But the great part about it is it's full body as well. Gotcha. I mean, you need, you need arms, you need legs, you need core you need your back, but yes, your legs and the strength in your legs is really critical. Gotcha. Okay, we did the booster ball. We're going to wrap this up real quick okay. with the abs as well. All right, let's pull these core balls out here. All right. As we're talking about the strength, endurance, and core is really critical, so I'll oftentimes get my balsu ball out just like this. Now, how often do you work out? Every day. Do you? Uh, well, 
six days a week. For how long? I mean, do you primarily work, uh, focus on, oops, I'm hitting my mic, on cardio or um, strength or what? Really, it's it's a balance of both. I probably spend a good hour and a half a day yeah. on logs, log rolling and boom running, you specifically. Have a log? Like, do you have a log in your backyard? What do you do? I do. <laughs> Shut up, girl. You have a log in your backyard? <laughs> my husband built this really big, beautiful. Seriously? Yes, I have two big boom runs. You'll have to go on my website, JennyAtkinson.com, and how see some funny. pictures. There's moose sometimes in my pond watching me train and practice, but it worked out great. Little bear would come. He you would just come right, right, right out there with me on the dock. He would sit in his little um, car seat with a little mosquito net over it, and uh -huh. we'd be log rolling. But yeah, it, it's a balance. So I have to spend a lot of time on logs, yeah. obviously. So yeah. log rolling and boom running. But then I do need to spend at least 50% of my time doing outside cardio and, and strength work as well. Well, I have to tell you, Jenny, you are such an inspiration. And maybe one day when I'm in Minnesota, I had to do that. I know you want to beat me up. <laughs> I'll come roll on one of your logs in your backyard. All right, you'll love it. You'll be addicted just like I am. Is 27 years later, you'll still be rolling logs. Okay, that'll be something else to add to my resume. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Carl. You're the bomb. We're going to be back with more of the 700 Club right after this, so don't go away. <laughs>